my name is Matthias Rillich and um, my co-author Annika Lehmann and I are happy to present a paper, a perspective paper on microplastic effects in terrestrial ecosystems and in science. So um, many of you have probably heard about um, microplastic, probably predominantly first from the ocean where this was first examined. And really research in the ocean has about a 10 year lead time over that in terrestrial systems. This is because the problem is just simply more visible in the oceans where uh, also microplastic particles present an additional surface and many of the effects are explained, explained by, that, by that fact. So research in terrestrial environments is relatively more new. What people have um, originally done uh, is they have taken a more ecotoxicological eco focus towards that research, which, which means that they looked at um, model organisms under highly controlled conditions and um, looking for adverse effects. This is also what we did in the lab. And it took a while to sort of um, induce um, a shift in focus from this more ecotoxicological focus towards a more global change biology focus. And this shift in focus is quite important because it brings about a different setting for your research. You are more likely to embrace more complex systems. You are more likely to do different measurements that are more relevant at the, uh, at the ecosystem and community scale rather than at the scale of individual organisms. And you might also have completely different expectations for um, results because many of the effects of global change factors are actually nominally positive, just like what we found also for many effects of uh, microplastic. And this does really not fit very well within the framework of ecotoxicology. Uh, mind you, these effects, even though they may be nominally positive effects, they would still have to be interpreted um, with um, respect to just this change that has occurred in, a, for example, in a community that otherwise wouldn't have if it weren't for the microplastics. So the interpretation is still um, of this being negative, even though the measurements uh, nominally give you back a positive effect. So. Uh, this change towards global change biology for microplastic, I think, is, is a very important one. And um, really, in the paper, we argue that this, this change should be embraced more fully. We should move really fully to the ecosystem scale. That's relevant. Uh, and we should focus on a much neglected set of variables that have to do with soil atmospheric exchanges. Uh, for example, greenhouse gas emissions from soils. For example, CO2. Uh, nitrous oxides and methane. And why is this important? This is because um, microplastic um, affects, for example, um, soil structure and biogeochemical processes in the soil that make it possible, if not likely, that there are changes in greenhouse gas emissions. And we really need to know these effects. What does this mean? It means research needs to move away from these model systems um, and the controlled environmental conditions more towards uh, mesocosm studies or even field experiments um, under conditions that embrace more the complexity of communities and ecosystems. Um, and we believe that by taking this step, microplastic research will uh, really become more relevant and also we are less likely to overlook some, uh, some potentially really important effects. Well, I hope um, you will enjoy reading the paper and um, I hope that we'll